One of the big problems in my yard right now is weeds. Uh, since I live in Texas, these weeds tend to pop up year round. And right now, there are basically two options for people who want to remove weeds from their yards. They can either do it manually, which not many people want to do because it's hard work, or they can use an herbicide like Roundup. Unfortunately, Roundup was recently implicated for the second time in causing a man's cancer. So that's not a great option, not really something that I want to do and put on my own yard. So I'm kind of envisioning this third option. And the third option is this awesome future where we have robots that can move around in our yards or maybe attachments to tractors that can dig in, dig out weeds for us. But in order to do that, we're going to need something that can detect those weeds. So I wanted to see if I could create a synthetic data set using my method that I've been using for a few different uh, projects, train a neural network to detect those weeds in video feed, and then hypothetically in the future when this robot exists or this attachment exists, use this neural network to spot weeds and dig them out. In order to create my data set, I walked around my backyard and front yard and took pictures of the ground. And I ended up using 37 of those as real background images. Then I walked around my neighborhood a bit and I found weeds in other patches of grass and took pictures of those and cut them out so that they could be composed over top of the backgrounds. And so then I was able to use code, Python code, to compose those and create new images that are not real, but are actually a composition of those background photos and the foreground cutouts of weeds. And you can see that some of these look a little bit fake, but others look very convincing. And either way, I figured they probably would work all right for training the neural network to find weeds and images, regardless of the background. I created 11,000 of these synthetic training images. In terms of time, it took me about 30 minutes to take and organize the photos that I used, about 30 minutes to prepare the 37 background images I used, about two hours to prepare the foreground, so that means cutting out those little weeds, and two hours was about my limit for when I started to get really tired and, and wanted to stop. So it took me about three hours total of manual time to create this data set. And then for automated time, meaning I didn't actually have to do work to do it, I just had to kick off a few processes that would do it for me, it took me about four hours and 50 minutes to generate 10,000 training images, 30 minutes to generate another 1,000 validation images, but that was able to happen in parallel. And then after I had the data sets created, I was able to train the mask RCNN to a pretty good, impressive results in two hours and 15 minutes. So the total automated time came to about seven hours, five minutes. So we're looking at 10 hours total for the uh, full data set, which, you know, seven of which were, I didn't have to stick around for. I just let my computer run while I did other things. Comparing that to what I think it would take to actually create this data set by hand, Assuming you had the data, had all of the images ready to go, so 11,000 images, which would take a while to collect, it would take maybe on average two minutes per image, multiplied that by 11,000 images, that would take 366.7 hours. So this is a massive time savings, and really for an in, a solo developer like myself, it really isn't even possible. This would take me months of manual effort to do, and there's no way I would finish it. I was really pretty stunned at how well it did, especially when looking at a video of it. And when you do individual frames, you can see that it sometimes misses parts of weeds. And you can kind of see that here as it's a bit shaky. Sometimes it picks up some false positives here and there. But from frame to frame, on average, it picks up these weeds incredibly well. And it's very good at segmenting them. So I think some amount of averaging and maybe just increased amount of training would work really well. And the uh, confidence on these weeds is super impressive too. Some of these, it's 100% positive that it's found a weed and it's correct. And it rarely seems to actually have false positives too. So overall, I've, I've just been stunned. These videos are not running in real time. They're actually running with, uh, you know, I, I processed them offline and then we're watching them real time. So 
to do this in real time, you'd probably have to not do this so fast or choose another neural network or give it a lot more processing power than my current computer is able to provide. If you're interested in how I created this data set and maybe interested in creating one of your own, I've created a Udemy course that will take you from start to finish how to create a custom Cocoa data set. Check out the link in the description below for more details.